All right, so there's this thing called Operator by OpenAI, the agents, and I asked it to create a custom object in what called Invoice in Salesforce. Let's see if it can do that. Invoice, okay. So, so far, it just asked me to log in. It was good. I logged in, right? Now it's creating all the stuff. Let's see. So far, good. Like, I would say it made way more far than I thought. Okay. I have filled this. Should I proceed with the saving creating object? Yes. Yes. Don't ask me. Don't ask me until you are done with creating the custom object. Don't ask me. You don't need to ask me all the time. I'm good. It's, it's, a, it's a safe thing to do, right? It, it, I'm giving you the task. You go solve the task. That's the deal, right? Clicks on save, all right? This is good. <laughs> you did it. Uh, can you can you create? Can you create? Um, what should we do? Can, we, can you create a tab for it? This is, I'm just thinking about like, you know, the, the simplest, the simplest, simplest possible, um, the simplest possible admin routine tasks that you might want to offload. Okay. It's got in, going to the search. Okay. I would never do that. I would just go to the home and then I would type tabs there, but it's doing great. It's doing way better than I thought. Oh my God. This is so strange to see. Because it's like, what the hell? It's just doing it on its own. Like, look, I'm not controlling anything. It's so strange. It's so strange. Like, this is for the people who say that the developer is going to be automated first. No, look at this. This is way easier than automating a developer. Okay. I think now it's going to... Did it just get stuck? No, stop clicking there. You already clicked there. You don't need to choose... <laughs> Uh, you don't need why money back style. What's going on there? See, it's stuck in the loop. This is the problem. So it's not even near to automating anyone. All right, they decided to go out of the loop. Interesting. This is cool because <laughs> this is smart. Nice. Scrolling. Okay. Scroll more. Okay. Yeah, include tab, okay. Save, all right, so. No, can you create a few dummy test records? Let's see if it's smart enough. Because, let's see, let's see, let's see. So far, it's been doing way better than I thought. Like, come on, it, it was able to create a custom object and was able to create a custom tab. This is already cool because you can just, I wish I could just ask it, you know, just go take a, take a coffee and then come back and it's going to be doing this. But I'm afraid that, you know, it still needs a lot of supervision. So you cannot really just immediately say, hey, go do that. But still, it's quite fascinating. Okay, so is it going to search there for invoices? Or is it going to go to sales or something? Because I think it remembers. It remembers that it added a tab. Okay. Okay. What next? Invoices. It's going to search for the invoices. All right. Which one of the invoices you're going to click? Because there are two invoices. They're very strange. Standard Salesforce invoice. Yeah, this is the standard Salesforce. Okay. Ha, you cannot click new, right? Because this is a standard Salesforce invoice. This is not fair. I can admit this is not fair towards AI because we humans, we know that Salesforce has a standard object that is not a good thing for invoices. So whenever I need to recreate invoices, usually I would create a, an actual custom object because this invoice object. I think it's part of a CPQ, whatever. Uh, so it's not smart enough to understand. So let me, let me tell you, um, refreshing. So it was smart enough to understand. Okay. 
um, let me let me help AI because well I cannot just look at this it's uh, it's so horrible. Um, use another invoice uh, object that you just created. There are two, one standard, one you created. Use yours. Let's see if it's smart enough to understand my help. Where is it going? Is it going to the object manager? Oh, that would be strange. Huh, what does it want to do in the object manager? Still very good though. Look at this. It, it found the search. It found the search. It found that there's one custom object, one not custom. Let's see. Is there a way to navigate from the from here? Oh, okay, okay. Now it recognizes that it needs to go actually to the app launcher and it needs to create the records, not nothing in the in the setup. Maybe it was verifying. I don't know. Very strange. Okay. Invoices. Nice. This is the right invoice. Okay. Now we're gonna get some ads. Okay, new invoice. Test invoice one, nice. This is so good. This is so good. Okay. And it created it. Oh my God. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Contact, why would you need the contact? Ah, it's closing contact form. I see, it's trying to close it. Okay, another invoice. Is it gonna say two, like test invoice two? Yes! Oh my God, this is so good. This is so awesome. Third invoice, this is so awesome. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop it because I don't wanna use it too much, but this is so awesome. This is, it's, it's capable of doing simple tasks. Um, I am also up for testing something more sophisticated. That's interesting. Now, the next thing I'm gonna test is uh, some something developer related. Let's see. So let's do, for example, can you now open developer console and uh, execute Apex script that would um, query all invoices and delete them, use invoice underscore underscore C, um, developer console, and um, I'm getting more specific, and anonymous window, uh, win, 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 window, we, window. Uh, if you're curious why I'm not spelling anonymous, because this is a terrible word that I cannot, not pronounce, not spell. I'm sorry, English is not my native language, so I, just cannot write this. Okay. It knows how to open developer console. This is good. This is good. Okay. Let's see. All right. It opens it. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Execute the script. Let's see what will be the script. Because it needs also to come up with a working script, right? This is the right script? This is the right script? It's done. Oh my God, it's done. So this is crazy. Now create um, dummy invoice records, but with a Apex script. And What's interesting, I can feed it immediately, right? So before it be, before it actually done, I can feed it uh, here the response. So this is uh, this is something very interesting. Okay. So you might be asking why I'm testing something like this, something like a script, because I don't want to say to it, "Hey, you write something complex," which I'm gonna test as well. But I want to just, as I did it with a simple admin stuff, I'm also doing with a simple 
developer stuff, nothing too crazy, right? Something that would take a couple of minutes for an experienced person to write. That was correct code. That was good. I know that it was quick, but it was good. It was the right code. And it was not overly crazy. Okay, now it's going to the... in. Okay, attempting to close. It cannot close. It cannot close the developer console. Okay, it closed now. Okay. So not only us humans have problem with the developer console, it's just ugly. It goes to the invoices. Wrong invoices again. Wrong invoices. Yeah, refreshing a page is good. Wrong invoices. Again, the same the same problem. Let's see if it can recognize that those are the wrong invoices. Because I already said once that those invoices are not correct. I I should have picked something else. I should have picked some kind of another um another object. Uh <laughs> another invoices tab. Not standard invoices. So it does not recognize it completely, but uh, it's still very impressive because it's able to execute, it's able to click on the developer console, it's able to. So this is incredible. Like this is it's really cool. Oh, I have a meeting in one in one minute. Okay, I'm gonna stop the fun and I'm gonna go to the meeting. But what do you think about this? Because this is really, really incredible, I think. And I'm super excited. And if uh, AI can take some of the uh, job that we don't like, that would be awesome. And I'm looking forward to 